What's up everybody, Zavrin here, and today we're taking a look at the demo for Research Story. It's a Stardew Valley-esque style game where we play a researcher going into this new town, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and jump in. You see, I played for a little while. Uh, I wanted to get familiar with it, so we'll go ahead and start from the beginning. The Violet Archive is seeking an inquisitive individual to help with the research of plants and creatures that have been appearing around Shimmerbrook. We have received word that you might be interested in such a role. If so, please accept this invitation by the by following instruction as attached. Watching will be provided with regards Valley Asharian, head archivist and of the Violet Archive. Violet store or research story. <laughs> I'm sorry. Research story, it's uh, release date is February 20th and it is developed and published by Petal Cat Games. I do want to throw that out there. So we'll just kind of... That'll be fine. We'll just leave everything the way it is. Just kind of jumping in and show you the game. Greetings, Zav. I'm Valley, head archivist of the Violet Archive and your mentor for research. Happy to have you aboard from today onwards. First off, w welcome to your new home. <laughs> I'm assuming is what she said. Well, not that new, technically. It does come furnished though. There should be some farmer's tools of the previous occupant lying around somewhere. You can start by finding them. Let me know if you've gotten some tools. Okay, quest. So we push Q to enter our quest log, which is pretty cool. There's our tools. Obtained old farmer's tools. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, in order to use these, you have your own little dedicated tool slot, which I really like. If we go to slots, it'll be left click to activate the tools, which is pretty cool. And then you engage with, like, the right click. So, oh, you found them. Great. Let's see. Here's some more things you or you'd need a research journal. Okay, which you get that from pushing J. All right, we don't have anything dedicated yet. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and skip the tutorial. So we're good. Let's go ahead and grab the mail. Okay. That's fine. And then we got to go into town and we'll check out a few things. The town is very cute. The animations are nice and the music is great. So, you just swap through these. I'm not sure. Yeah, mouse wheel just scrolls through these. It doesn't swap through your tools. But yeah, see, as you can see, you can just scythe everything up like that. Just like kind of a Stardew Valley esque thing. You don't have a mining pick, but you use a hammer instead. So, oop. Okay. Works out pretty good. And then you only have so much energy. And then there's. Oh, right here. And then certain things you pick up out of the ground. So like if we go grab this, All right, we got peppermint and then we need to start researching it. So push R to open up your research tab. All right, if you go to your inventory, say take peppermint, drag it over the glass, the magnifying glass. Now it's in your research. So it tells you what to do. You have to observe it two different times and then grow a harvest, grow and harvest a peppermint. So there's that. We got some cute animals. Only a couple of them are available in the demo. So we can show you over here. It's Sprout Kitten. Boop. So it left a leafy fur ball. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna research that leafy fur ball as well. Now we need to observe it one time, tame one, and then raise its happiness. So that works out pretty good. Observe and plant during research, okay. Uh, we gotta find Rhea from the bestiary and or bestiary, however you wanna pronounce it. And then meet the researchers, which is what we're gonna go ahead and go do now. So things are a little pricey. Good artwork. I, I, I really like the way they've drawn the characters in the game. Why don't you get to know each other first, okay? 
so you can get a good idea what the expensive things are. Oh, well, we'll, we'll look at it later. The music kicks pretty good. I like it. This is a research lab. Or library, I should say. So here's Valley. Ah, oh, you're just here at the right time. If you haven't met the others, do go and say hi. So these are the people we have to meet. Oh, shouldn't we at least get to know each other first? Oh, it's trying to give them something. Before that, let me get your name. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming I met the researchers. Oh, it's because I have something equipped in my hands. I'm going to talk to him without something in my hands. Okay. Hello, I'm Ira. My name is Zav. It's nice to meet you, Zav. I'm the cartographer and librarian in the archives. Sometimes I help Valley with that or with other tasks as well. Speaking of which, I recently made a few local a few copies of a local map. I think it might be useful to you. So we town we obtained the map. As you can see, this is where we are. Can't zoom in and out. But maybe there's a way to later on. I don't know. Hi there, I'm Suo. Soe. Soe? Ah, it's Sui. I'm fine either way, though. <laughs> I record for topics related to rocks and minerals for the archive. Maybe we'll get to find some caves in the mountains, too. I'll let you know if they find anything interesting. Okay. So let's go collect our quest reward. I see you've met them, the rest of them. This is our official welcome to Violet Archive. I hope you can learn well from one another. Once again, we're happy to have you aboard. Feel free to enter and leave the building. When we are open, I'm still arranging some of the shelves, but yours should be ready soon. Well, I'll conclude our introductions for now. Thank you for joining us. Valley concludes the meetings. So that's basically everything there for this area that gets that quest out of the way. I like the movements in the game. It's very fluid. It feels really nice. We got a job board over here. The art of making, huh? Ever wonder how to build your own fences? Well, wonder no more. We are asked our resident woodworker Theo on this process, and this is what he started. Or this is what he shared. Sorry. Of course, we believe any high-quality furniture should be sourced from a woodworker like Theo himself. You learned how to craft wood fences. We got an owl person here. Hi, you must be Zav. Welcome to Shiverbrook. I'm Kip. I'm the messenger around here. It's nice to finally meet you. And you could pop off, you know, berries from the bushes. That's how it's going to gain you energy. So you would select it and then Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So to, in order to use the item, you, t you hit tab and then you would click on it. So you can highlight over the item and it doesn't actually select the item until you hit tab and then it selects the item. So we got a, a chicken feather. We got some chamomile. So let's go ahead and throw the chicken feather over here. Now we need to observe the chicken one time, tame a chicken, and raise its happiness. So let's go do that. This is the seed person. What is this? Tree glows with magic. Continues to grow and sprout new leaves without any, with the need, without the need of any soil. That's pretty cool. Hello, what are you looking for today? Well, let's get a seed bowl. Oh, we don't have the gold. Ah, uh, thank you. Come again. Wow. Uh, let's talk to you then. 
Hi, Art. You're new here. I'm Rhea. My name is Zav. Ah, you must be the creature researcher. Nice to meet you, Zav. So, you must have heard. Recently, more creatures have been showing up around Shimmerbrook. Some are native, while others have been seen around these parts. Due to this change, us druids have decided to support the research efforts of the Archive. We wish to learn more about these creatures while keeping a balance in the region. So what's my role? Well, you'll need a, to record the characteristics and behaviors of various creatures. You can begin research using a creature sample. Samples come in many forms, from dropped feathers to shredded furs. You'll then need to observe, tame, and raise uh, creatures while recording what you've learned. Following so far? Yep, I'm excited to get taming. That's great, I'm excited for you to start as well. When taming creatures, we can gain their trust by feeding them what they like. I have fed, I have some feed here. It'll help get you started. Place one near a creature. If it likes it, it can take a chance to tame it. Come to me again when you've managed to tame one. We'll share more about raising them. Okay, cool. You've gained three seed bowls. So, now we'll select a seed bowl. Hit tab. We're gonna drop it right here in front of this chicken. Now, now we can observe, observe it. Records are updated. The creature seems weary of you. Okay, so let's get some more food. Let's go ahead and tame it. Okay. I'm gonna put it up, that way it doesn't get, get afraid. There we go, now it loves us. You tamed a chicken, please give it a name. We'll call it chicken. Um. <laughs> so here's our journal. Information to common full fowl. It has it like seeds and something else. It's a petal lover. It's greedy. It's sociable. It shows up on cliff sides, in the woods, and in the plains. So I think if we go to our research. We observed it once, so we need to raise its happiness. No. Yeah, so you tamed a chicken. Cool. So now we got a seed bowl recipe. And I can keep your creature happy. You will need to give it a home and keep it fed. Assign creatures to pens and add their favorite type of feed to the th trough. Oh, and remember to pat them daily. Happy creatures will often give back their caretakers and produce useful items. This final bit of information should also be recorded down to complete a piece of creature research. Please report back to Valley when you've completed the research. She'll be glad to hear about your progress. Oh, before I forget, here, take this as well. It's on the house. You obtained a creature pen. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and do this. And then, I think that's it. At least we get to keep our bowls. We're not littering. That's good to know. All right. Let's open this up and see where's our pen, creature pen. Oh, it's pretty big, dude. Put it over here. Or does it have to be? Oh, it's got to be in that ground. So that now we, let's go ahead and start clear cutting this area here.
but let's go ahead and grab out the hammer. Clear out this. That should give us enough area for this thing, right? All right. Yes. Click the creature and set it here. Sign chicken. Here we go. Cool. So you could have two animals in a slot. Oh, that works pretty good. And it does work on a 24 hour period. here so we're going to raise its happiness and obtain a produce we're going to observe mint two times start collecting everything here Some creatures only come out at night, but others during the day. No one to find them. Okay, that's what we'll work on. We'll get that done. I'm not sure how I could just observe these. Because there's a mint. Oh, there it is. Okay. Boom. So we should collect that. Let's go to research here. I need. See, how does it say I didn't observe it? I guess maybe we've done it one time. We need to do it again. So let's go find another mint, shall we? I don't know if there's dungeons or... Oh, there is a cave type of thing. I did find. But it's not really a dungeon. And I wasn't sure how to get into the dungeon. So... I need to find another mint. Looks like there's a secret over there. That's pretty cool. Potentially. The waterfall looks really nice, too. Let's see. Let's see. Go find some mint. There's a lot of areas as well that aren't accessible during the demo. Which, again, it's another one of those things that's highly understandable. 
they don't want to give away too much of the game. They just want to give away enough to give you a taste. just sitting on the ground. Maybe there's more south or east. I know we really can't go west. I've tried it. Maybe I picked the wrong plant to do research on? You feel tired today. I must have passed out. Morning, Zav. I've been seeking out the caves in Shimmerbrook in the past couple of days. Guess what? We found our first. There were some critters in there, which might be relevant to you. We also found a relic. It has some writing on it. Sally will look into it when she can. But if you can find anything else, let us know. As for the cave, Theo and I have also made it more accessible. So you can enter next to it easily. Let me just mark it on your map. It's a stone's throw away from your place, actually. Well, see you around then. Probably study the cave more deeply in the next few days as well. Okay. Perfect. So the cave is over here. Let's observe that again. Cool. You learned how to forge peppermint seeds. Everything's in the journal. Now we can start growing crops, which is fun. This is a cave. I'm gonna grab this. Let's go ahead and I uh, grow and harvest a peppermint. Okay. So here's the sign that they were talking about. Circular dents in the ground after sundown. Be content cave creature will unveil what lies deeper unveil what lies deeper so it looks like we'll have to come back here at night so let's go plant and harvest a, a peppermint boop you have to click and hold by the way for that one I need peppermint seeds, don't I? My bad. So let's go ahead and... Okay. That's planted. Let's water it. Looks good. Let's go give our chicken a pet. And I'm pretty sure... We just need to raise its happiness, so I guess one heart. I don't know what to do. Oh, the creature was not fed yesterday. Well, of course, we just got it. I don't think we have enough. Let me go to our recipe book. Crafting. Not a wooden bowl. A seed bowl. Three of any seeds plus a bowl. Okay, cool. So let's grab some seeds, I guess. The crafting menu is nice. It's pretty stuff, pretty easy. So you got your regular basic stuff here. Looks like animal stuff, plant stuff, and house stuff, domestic stuff. I guess I I don't freaking know. I don't know. We'll find it out though. Have to seed bowl. One bowl. Three of any seeds. What? Okay, so that's how it works. Let's go feed our our our, our chicken. Mossy mold. Okay.
peculiar dents in the ground after sundown. A content cave creature will unveil what lies deeper. Did I miss it because I walked away? So we just have to watch it. This is the only circular divot in the ground. Maybe I could place something here. Yeah. Mossy Molt. Doesn't seem to fit the dent. Okay. Okay. Nothing fits the dent. <laughs> A bowl. No, okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, I suppose. There we go. That's done. Cute little guy. Grab some of these cloud berries. See who else is there that we can aim. So day three of spring, we've got cloud berries available to us. Pretty cool. And is any of my research done? No, of course not. <laughs> we have to let this grow. We have to get his happiness up. Then we just need to tame up Sprout Kitten and then raise its happiness up. Okay. So let's go see if that little lizard guy is still in the cave. No, he only shows up at night. So this divot needs something, right? Yeah, I don't know what to put in that dent, dude. It doesn't make any sense to me. Kind of just run around and harvest everything. And, or forage everything. I don't know if we get level ups. We'll find that out too. But, I don't know if just leveling things or doing the foraging stuff. Obviously, it's the only way I'm able to make money right now. But that's only because I think I'm doing something wrong. I'm sure somebody else has played this game that's way better than I am at it. Grow, grow and harvest a crop. Raise a creature's happiness to collect its pr produce during research, which I've done that multiple times, right? It produces a feather. Maybe it produces eggs. I don't know. And then the relic was a clue to learning about more th or to learning more about the past. Find out what to do with the information. I guess we just sleep. See what happens. No. Yeah. Because it's nighttime. So we can come out here. Let's go ahead and just drop all this stuff off. Uh, almost everything. So right click does one at a time. Right click does one at a time. Left click does the entire stack dump. So, Sounds like it's raining outside, which is nice because I mean, we don't have to water our crops. What the hell? Why? What the? I mean, 
takes who knows how many days to grow. It wasn't grown. I mean, that's kind of stupid. We're close to the river. We're literally that, that exact location. I don't know. That was dumb. That was legit dumb. Now I gotta go find another peppermint to grow a peppermint. That's silly as hell. Go make sure our chicken's happy at least. This isn't going up at all. This bar hasn't moved one bit. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it again. We buy two more bowls of food. so many of these and we don't need that. Feel again. Okay. Now we're gonna sleep till the night time. Since peppermint doesn't like rain. I I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. So we're going to try to figure out this guy down here. <laughs> there he is. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume this bowl is going to be the right bowl. I don't know why. It's not it. Let's try the meatball. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay, so he likes meat. So we learn on our own, just from trial and error, like the fox here. I'm going to go ahead and say, safe to assume that it's egg bowl. We got a fur ball from him. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. We'll try this one more day and see what happens. Go pet my chicken. See? I don't know, dude. I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end it, honestly. So each bowl goes for one gold. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and end it. It's a very interesting game. Uh, we glitched it out, so we got to salvage our one egg, this bowl. So that's kind of nice, nice, nice. So if you feed it and run off screen real quick, it doesn't register that they ate the food, so you can just go back and get your bowl. So yeah, there's a lot of forgeables though, and it's a fun little demo. So thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the game, the episode, and anything else. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.